Hey everyone, it's Warren with KL Gadget TV and I'm at Gigabyte's VIP room checking out the Arrow 15 which is about to launch in Malaysia really soon, probably at the end of June. So yes, this is a really beautiful creator's notebook with super slim bezels and this display that I'm seeing here is a Samsung AMOLED display which is kind of like the first, uh, kind of like the first AMOLED display that I've seen on a laptop. It looks gorgeous, color saturation is good and of course you have the option of upgrade of having the display uh, as a, a sharp 240 display you can have the option to have that on this notebook if you so want to so um, the arrow 15 is a totally redesigned notebook from the previous arrow 15 and um, for instance this is the old arrow uh, as you can see there's there's the webcam right under there and this is totally uh, a redesign of it with a slimmer bezel and sleeker profile so um, you might be wondering where's the webcam so the webcam is actually right here it looks like a microphone hole but in fact that's not a microphone so there's a leak here where you can slide it over to cover the webcam and you just slide it here if you want, want to open it so you don't need to stick any stickers around it uh, for privacy purposes so um, in terms of specs this laptop has uh, has pretty good firepower so uh, it comes with either a 9 gen core i7 or or i5 CPU, uh, you can opt for either a RTX 20 series or GeForce GTX 60 series GPU uh, running your uh, running your graphics intensive task. So this is a creator's notebook, but it is also a gaming notebook as well, which is why it has uh, RGB lighting on its keyboards. It's perky RGB, by the way. It looks pretty cool. And one thing that this laptop doesn't skimp on is actually ports. So if you look over to the right side, you get two USB A's, a Thunderbolt 3 port, and the uh, my goodness, a standard size SD card slot, and this is a really fast uh, SD card slot. It supports up to UHS 2 read, read write speed, so that's actually an impressive card reader there. And over to the side here, you get a full size HDMI, a Type C port, and a USB, and another USB A port, headphone jack, as well as gigabit Ethernet. You also get a fingerprint scanner on the trackpad over here. Um, the responsive, the, the responsiveness is pretty good. Precision is pretty good. Why can you use this trackpad? And that's what the creator's laptop really need to be like. So when we close the lid, you do see that the Arrow, the Arrow branding here, like up. There's no Gigabyte branding anywhere, but merely just the Arrow branding. So um, I'm gonna show you the back as well. So in terms of cooling, this laptop has done its cooling features really well. So there's two, there's two fans that that ventilate his ventilates heat out of the laptop with over five heat packs right inside. So Gigabyte claims that this is a really silent machine. Um, the fan should run below 40 decibels when it's on load, and it claims that the temperature of probably the CPU it, it, it will come down as low as 36 degrees Celsius when it is on load. So here's two cooling vents, one, two on the back, and there's one on the side, and the other one on the side. So total, there's about four cooling vents for this uh, Gigabyte Arrow creator's laptop. Very impressive unit, especially the display. I'm actually liking it a lot because um, this is not only just an AMOLED display, but this is uh, calibrated properly by x right Pantone. So their color institute, they are a color institute of colors, so they do calibrate this display pretty well, and it's great for content creators. So um, this laptop will be will be launched in Malaysia like probably next month, also by Gigabyte. So hopefully we will be receiving a unit soon for review. I can't wait to test it out, test this out myself because personally I am a creator as well, and I would really like to find out the how it performs in my daily life. So yeah, this has been a quick look and first impressions of the Gigabyte Arrow 15. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. Subscribe to us at KL Gadget TV for more Computex videos, and I will see you in the very next video.